These days, businesses from the smallest taxi firms to the largest utilities are finding they need to make the most of the real-time M2M data they're gathering. One virtual operator, Maingate, based here in Stockholm and specializing in M2M since 1998, have turned to their long-term partners, Convergis, for their support in this. Through them, Maingate are now shifting from usage to value-based pricing. Maingate came to be in 1998 uh, by two souls who wanted to explore the potential of the M2M market. So it was started as an MVNO, a virtual operator, only focusing on M2M applications. I think uh, the most important thing uh, in our business is billing. I use, usually say that we are in the billing industry um, and that is actually true. Because without a really functional RBM platform, we are not able to perform our businesses as we would like to do. What we meet uh, on a daily basis when we are out meeting clients, we see that we are heading towards a value-based charging model. To get to a value-based charging model, we have to go through a few steps. And the first step, as we see it, is a function-based charging model. Function-based charging model means that we move away from just charging for connectivity and data to charging for the actual function that the customer gets. Morag, how does Convergis enable new revenue models to be introduced? With our solution, um, we are apt to really manage new revenue models. Um, due to the nature of M2M, -M, the scalability is absolutely key. The millions of transactions, the vast volume of transactions, um, means that the system has to be able to scale and scale quickly. The other thing is the cost. Um, you know, our solutions are repeatable and can be deployed quickly. The last one is flexibility, and flexibility is absolutely key because the system has to be flexible enough to be able to handle the different types of usage charges, the different types of discounts that are going to be applied to either usage or to customer, and it also has to be able to manage operational efficiency um, through automation. And so the flexibility is the biggest factor. Scalability, flexibility and low cost. And what are the additional services that you've mentioned? The market has changed so much from the sort of industrial M to M. So if you think about the taxi cabs and meters really talking back to the base. If you look at um, the influx of security and CCTV, you know, CCTV, the devices, um, have to now be very intelligent because companies will pay for the different types of valuable information. And so information um, and the intelligence is really at the heart of M2M. Historically, M2M has mainly been about industrial processes, but more and more we're talking about enterprise applications and consumer applications. Convergis doesn't seem to distinguish particularly between these. Is this part of your flexibility? How do you respond to that? Uh, it's going to be important to really think about the consumer. If you look at the number of connected devices anticipated in 2020, which I believe is 2.2 billion, everything ends up with the consumer. And I think that's the difference. People have to start thinking about what is the consumer experience and what is it that the consumer is interested in. So from a company looking out, we may want to gather information and data and count stuff but really, it's the value of what we're counting, the interaction between those machine-to-machines -machines that we're going to be looking at. What's amazing is we have the intelligence in real time. So we have the intelligence as it happens, and the, the key now is to be able to use that intelligence um, to the benefit of the consumer and also to the company. Um, so how do you monetize that intelligence and make sure that it's being used appropriately? We don't no longer ask the question how to, to do m to m because the question how is easily solved. We rather ask the question why. Why do company wants to do why do company want to do m to m in the first place? When we know why they want to do it, then we can actually help them uh, get higher value out of their investments than, than previously. Another aspect is this is that we don't really see that m to m will, will really take off unless we have a human perspective on it. The human interface in the M2M uh, infrastructure is going to be more important than it has been previously. 
M-Term in itself doesn't bring really uh, high value to any of our customers. But when you inter interact with the humans or persons with the information you can gather from the M-Term infrastructure, you're going to bring a lot of more value to the end customers. If the predictions are nearly accurate, the explosion in M-Term is going to be massive. Um, that leaves a huge opportunity for companies like Maingate to be able to offer companies very flexible services. Um, for Convergys, it means that we need to continue to really provide the scale and the flexibility that is required at a cost that is um, feasible in M2M because the ARPU is much lower than our traditional business. So I think um, you know, M2M becomes M2H and uh, we are all going to be connected and the key is what's the value of those connections.